Afternoon friends, this is Mike that Helpful Dad with another quick tip for you about Netflix. Today we're going to talk about how to manage parental controls. There's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, you know, we make lots of videos and quick tips for you about Amazon, Prime Video, Netflix, things like that. We've got lots of reviews for you on cord cutting and watching TV online. You can find them on YouTube or you can go to our website, thathelpfuldad.com. Here's some examples of what you'll see, best series and movies to watch on Netflix, various reviews of the different um, cord cutting sites, things like that. I'll put a link in the description, but for now, let's get to it. So if we go to Netflix... And the easiest way to do this is probably going to be on your computer. Now you can do this on your um, on the regular uh, app if you're what if you're accessing that through Roku or Amazon Fire Stick or Apple TV. But I'm going to show you on the computer because there's two ways you can do it on the computer, and I believe really only one on the app. So if we go to the top right hand corner and we look at our profile picture here, and we're gonna go down to account. Now we have other videos on how to actually manage the profile and change the pictures and stuff like that, but today we're talking about just the parental controls. So if we go down to account, you're gonna be taken to a page that looks like this. Now at the top of the page is your billing information, followed by your plan. We have another video on how to change your plan and um, you know get it on different, how many screens you can watch on, things like that. I'll put that link in the description too. But we wanna look at parental controls. So under settings is parental controls, and if we come down here we click on that you're going to get taken to a page where you would enter a password it's just the normal Netflix password and you have to enter that here in order to access your parental control menu so you would enter your password then you get taken to this page and here's where you would set up a pin so the pin is similar to like you might use on your Roku or on your Amazon Prime video or what have you. It's, it's all the same. You set a pin up here and then here is one way where you manage the maturity level. So if you want to have everything require, if you want every single thing to require a pin, you would put the maturity level at zero and then you can see all content is managed by a pin. Okay. Now on our account, we have four different pa four different profiles, myself as well as uh, a couple of the kids and mommy. So we don't necessarily want everything to require a pin. So maybe you just want to have uh, your kids be able to access all of the normal content, PG or below, on their TVs. You could do that here. And then anything above that, you would require a pin for. Or you could say, if you wanted to be able to access anything through the teen level, you could do that. And, and then you can go from there. If you want all content, in other words, you wouldn't even need a pin, you can do that here as well too. Now I'm gonna show you another way that you don't you don't have to use this pin thing, but this is one way to do it that will require a pin, kind of give you a little bit of a fail safe here. You might not wanna choose one, two, three, four, but you know that's how you do it. And then you can also add specific titles or specific movies. So you can certainly do that if you want to uh, add that in here. So um, the next thing, so if you do this with a pin, it's important to understand this. I want to show you an example. So um, normally the way we would manage parental controls through the app or through the account is we would come over here and we would do manage our profiles. And then if we go into a regular profile like mine, currently I have all maturity levels available. So that means I should be able to watch everything. Uh, whereas with the kids, Let's take uh, Jax, and let's just confirm, uh, oh, he is on the kids level. So yeah, his kids, uh, he's not able to access the categories, other categories um, that are non-kid related. But if we come back over to, let's just check my other son just to make sure he's also on the kids section as well while we're at it. <laughs> it looks like it is, yeah, so he's good. Okay, so, uh, but let's go into mommy's account here. So mommy uh, should be, yeah, she's also all maturity levels. But you could also make and change them at the um, levels here as well too. But this is what I wanted to show you. Even if you have all maturity levels set up here, if you have set up a pin, a situation where you require everything to be with a pin, then what will happen is when mommy tries to access or you try to access something that is obviously not uh, of a kid level, you're gonna to have to enter your pin. So the point is, if you're going to use this pin piece, it's going to override the other piece here where you were managing the profiles this way. I think the best way to do it is actually to not use the pin and to actually just do your parental controls over here. Because this way you can set up each person individually, 
little kids all the way up to all maturity levels. So I have my kids set up on one of these two depending on their age, and then mommy and daddy are set up with all maturity levels. This is also where you could select the kid. I think this is easier. You can do this on the computer or on the app. The pin part you can only do on the computer. So that's how you do it. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you and you now know how to do your parental controls on Netflix. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.